with Muy Bueno, and today we're going to be making tamales. I've invited some friends over today, and we're going to be making tamales together. It's actually called a tamalada, so it's a tamale making party. It's a lot of fun, and if you've ever made tamales, you know that it's quite time consuming. So having some friends and family over to help you out just makes the event more enjoyable. So I'm going to get ready and get some stuff going because they'll be here soon. Grandma made tamales for our family every year, especially during Christmas time. It was her gift to our family. She didn't have a lot of money, and so the tamales were her gift to us. And so it was just great to see her make tamales. It was an adventure. It was a week event. She would make tamales for days. She would make the filling one day. She would be soaking the hojas one day. And, you know, she would never let us help her. We would sometimes help just by cleaning the hojas, but besides that, it was her territory, her domain in the kitchen. She really enjoyed making tamales, and that was her gift. What you want to do is you want to place some lard in your stand mixer, and you just want to mix that until it's nice and fluffy. Then you want to add your masa to the mixture. We suggest to buy unprepared masa, which is masa that has no lard or no salt. It's not seasoned at all. Add the baking powder and salt. Slowly add the broth. And we're also adding some red chile sauce to this mixture. The mixture should be about the consistency of smooth peanut butter. If not, add more broth as necessary. Test the masa by taking a small piece and dropping it into a cup of warm water. If it floats, it's ready. If it sinks, add a little more lard. Beat for another minute and test it again. Repeat this process until the masa floats. Soak corn husks in water for an hour before using. Rinse well with running water to take off any dust or corn husk fibers. And place a handful of wet corn husks in a colander to drain before using. Place the wide end of the husk on the palm of your hand. Narrow end is at the top. Starting at the middle of the husk, spread the masa with the back of a spoon, using a downward motion towards the wide bottom edge. Do not spread the masa to the ends. Leave about a two inch border on the left and the right side of the husk. Spoon your choice of filling down the center of the masa. We have all types of fillings we have red chile and pork, we have jalapenos with Oaxaca cheese, uh, chorizo filling, so anything that you want to use for your filling, go ahead and put that on top of the center of the masa. You're going to fold both sides to the center and finish off by bringing the pointed end of the husk toward the filled end. Make sure it's snug closed so that it doesn't open during the steaming. Now it's time to steam the tamales. Let's place the tamales upright with fold against the sides of the other tamales to keep them from unfolding. To test if done, put one tamal on a plate and take off the corn husk. If it comes off with ease, you know it's done. The tamales are ready. Buen provecho. Right here. The, oh, the ball in the water, yes. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ta-da! It floated. Yay. Can I hear some applause? <laughs>